In this video, I'm going to share with you my best financial investment books and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about them. This is the first financial investment book that I bought, The Snowball, from Mr. Warren Buffett. He comes from a middle class family and one of the richest people in the world. He's a multi-billionaire. Through investments, as I said, he comes from a middle class family and he started at the bottom with very little money that he worked for and saved. always liked business investments long-term investments and he never sells he's holding period in businesses or in stocks it's forever he never sells and that's why his fortune grew so huge Mr. Warren Buffett said this when he was a teenager. He said, I better become a millionaire by the age of 30 or earlier. Or if not, I'm going to go to the tallest building and throw myself from it. He turned into a millionaire at the age of 30 as to throwing himself from the tallest building that was probably a joke but he did turn himself into a millionaire by the age of 30 and his words became a reality. And after that, his fortune started to grow and grow and grow. With little money, investing in stocks. And now he owns the whole entire business of Dairy Queen and an insurance company by the name of Geico and he owns many other businesses. He's also a top shareholder of companies such as Coca-Cola and Apple and many others. He also tells people to invest but in companies that we understand only in companies that we understand never to invest in companies that we do not understand because that is a risk and that's what he does also only invest in companies or corporations that he understands only. He helped a lot of people that he knew into um, becoming multi-millionaires and multi-billionaires. This quote, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. And what that means is that when other people are buying in the market, when it's going up and it's green, stay away from it. But when there's a sell off and everybody's in fear and in panic trying to save their money, people don't want to invest. Well, that's an opportunity. All of us that wants to invest in the market when there's 
a seller because the prices for the stocks are a bargain. So it's time to buy. Okay? It's a huge opportunity to um, build our wealth. And this is how a lot of the wealthy people have created so much wealth and become richer because of the market sell-off. Parkers are, you know, um, prices are at bargain. And that's a huge opportunity because we can buy more. The more we buy, the more shares we have, the more money we're going to accumulate, and especially with dividend stocks. Not other companies pay dividend stocks, but a lot of them do. What is when you're going to, when you buy, make sure you load your truck up to the top. Take advantage of that opportunity. As to why the book is called The Snowball? Well, it's like when winter comes and there's a big hill on the top and there's like a little snowball and it starts rolling down from a little snowball as it goes rolling down the hill it turned into a huge snowball. Okay? So, from a small investment amount of money when he was little, as an adult, he turned it into a huge fortune. And that's why it's called The Snowball. It's a great book, a great story. It's a huge opportunity. That's what he likes. Bargain prices. He put his money where his mouth is. And that's why the snowball Stock split secrets. What is a stock split? Well, I'll explain that in a minute. But first, what will happen if there is a stock split in a corporation? And let's say you own shares in a corporation. Well, if a stock split occurs, this means it will increase your shares. That's what will happen. The dividend, let's say you were paying, you were, the company was paying $1. Now the dividends are going to be reduced as well to 25 cents. The thing is that over time, that dividend payment will increase. And that's because the directors from the company have decided that to uh, increase the dividend uh, payouts. So, when this happens, more money is going to be paid to you as a dividend shareholder to put in your pocket. 
and this will make you even wealthier. So this is what a stock split can do or will do. Now, let's go back as to what exactly is a stock split. All right. I'm going to give you an example. Last year, in 2020, the Apple Corporation, uh, which is a technology company, a huge brand uh, name company in the world, they had a, a stock split. And that was because the share price was at $400. And not a lot of buyers uh, wanted to buy the shares at uh, that high price because it was high, $400. So that kept a lot of people from buying or owning the shares of Apple. And I would have done the same thing because I'd rather invest my money in buying uh, more shares at a lower price than at a higher price. And that's because uh, I'll own more shares if I, let's say I have $2,000 that I want to invest, I'd rather invest my $2,000 in buying the, the stock at $100, owning more shares than investing my $2,000 in buying the stock at $400 and only uh, owning four shares. And that's, and also because Buying at 400, it's riskier. So, I don't want that. So the thing is, that the directors saw that and they wanted to um, give the opportunity to more people to buy uh, shares from the company at a lower price. And this will help also the company grow. And not only that, the directors also wanted to attract more buyers to come and invest in the company because it will benefit the company also. Not only the company will but also everybody that wants to uh, buy uh, shares and own shares from the Apple company. So, this is not only uh, for, you know, the public just to buy shares when the uh, shares were uh, reduced, this is an opportunity for everybody, even the directors of Apple, everybody that works at Apple, uh, whoever wants to buy. It's an opportunity to buy the, uh, the stock at a lower bargain price, at a cheaper price. And who doesn't want that? I do. Better for me because I'll own more shares. Okay? So, now that, um, that I've talked about this, the directors uh, of the company go into a meeting, discuss about the stock split, and they will have to come into an agreement to do it or not. If they do, then... They will let the world know about 
the stock split. For instance, when the stock split um, was done, the share price was reduced from $400 to $100. So that means the investors that uh, own the uh, Apple shares or Apple stock, it increased their, um, their shares because they were, uh, they were gonna get four shares for every share they owned. So you can imagine now how many shares these people have because of the stock split. If you own shares from the Apple Corporation, let's say you own a hundred shares and the company uh, does a stock split of four by one, this means for every share you own, which is a hundred shares, the company will issue four extra shares for every share you own. This means you will quadruple your shares. At first you had a hundred. Now because of the stock split, you have now 500 uh, shares of Apple stock. And now you have become richer or wealthier in assets. This is what the stock split does. Increases the shares. For every share that uh, the shareholder owns, we're going to get paid 25 cents now. If, like for instance, those that already had the shares and increased their shares, they're going to make a lot of money now. The thing is that when the dividends are increased later in the future, more money is going, the company is going to pay the shareholder and put in our pockets. So this will um, increase our wealth. So this will benefit investors and also uh, the corporation to grow even bigger. And this is the purpose of a stock split. And that is what this book is about. Stock split secrets. And what it can happen. What it will cost. So, this is what this book is about. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Mr. Robert Kiyosaki. He comes from a middle class family. He's an investor in real estate and a multi millionaire. The book talks about Mr. Robert Kiyosaki's entire life story since he was a kid until an adult. And also it contains um, very important information regarding why the poor are always poor, the middle class always struggling 
financially and why the rich get richer and richer year after year. And I have a video on that if you're interested in watching. He started at the bottom over time and over the years. Um, he became a multi millionaire investing in real estate because that's what he likes. But before he got into any of that, Mr. Robert Kiyosaki did not have any financial literacy, any financial education. Um, he got all that uh, from his rich dad. His rich dad educated him financially. And the book talks about all that. Book also talks about why is it that the poor are always poor, the middle class are always struggling financially, and the rich get richer and richer year after year, and what is it that the rich do to get richer that the poor and the middle class don't. And it explains in, uh, in graphs, in financial graphs, everything about that. Get financially educated. To start at the bottom, investing. But the most important thing is to take action and get started. Matters is starting at the bottom with a uh, little money and over time you start seeing the result. The thing is getting started and taking action. Everyone, but everyone who wants to um, start a business or become wealthy, we all start at the bottom. How Mr. Robert Kiyosaki got to become a multi-millionaire. He got that financial education and got started because of his rich dad. This book also, it gives us the financial graphs on how to manage our income and also on how to become um, wealthy. So, this book, it's a great investment. Yes, that financial knowledge. So, yes, this book is a must have, must own, and it's for everybody for kids, for adults, for anybody. This book, Rich Dad and Poor Dad has a lot of value because of the financial uh, information that it contains. And this is what the book is about. The Financier. And what this book is about is from a kid from the 1800s that he comes from a middle class family where he didn't know anything about finance or business, but his dad used to work at a bank. So he used to go 
with his dad to see what he was doing at uh, his job. So there he learned about finance and he learned about business and making money. Then one day he was uh, walking down a street and he heard an uh, auctioner. He was selling products. The kid stopped and listened to the auctioner and he became interested in buying the product at a low price and then reselling the product at a higher price for a profit. But since he was a kid, he didn't have any money. So he told the auctioner if he could give him the opportunity to go and get the money so he could buy the product. So the kid, so the auctioner said, okay, I'll give you the time, but don't take too long. So the kid ran to his parents, told him that he needed to borrow money, and his parents asked him, what for? He said, just trust me. I know what I'm doing. And, he, and they agreed. They trust him. He didn't tell them uh, what the money was for, but his parents lent him the money. He ran back to the uh, auctioner to buy the product. So after he bought the product, he resold it for a higher price, made a profit, went back to his parents, and um, he returned the money to his parents. So that's what he did. And afterwards, he became interested in buying the products at a low price and selling for a higher price for a profit. After that, he started getting jobs um, at offices because uh, he liked business, he liked money, and he was a very smart kid. I mean, he became real smart. Afterwards, um, he saw all of a sudden that there was a sell-off in the stock market and people were in fear, in panic, selling their shares and trying to save as much money as possible. So when the, now he was an adult and he saw that. And that to him was an opportunity uh, to go in the market, invest his money, and when the market went up, he sold his shares and made a profit. Then he started having problems and um, he ended up losing his money, but not in the stock market, other problems he had um, that he had to pay a person to help him up with his problem. He ended up with no money. After his problems were gone, he came back. The stock market once again was in sell-off. So he knew what to do. He went into the market, started buying the shares at a bargain price, and then when the market started to go back up again from red to green, he sold his shares, start making a profit, and then he became once again a millionaire. And one thing for sure it is that no matter if the markets are up or down, or even if the market is down, the market will always bounce back up. Always. So that's the thing. He knew exactly what to do when there was a sell-off. He was not scared. He had the knowledge on what to do. So at first he was a millionaire. And then he started um, spending all his money, 
because he needed to solve his problems. He ended up with no money. Then he went back into the market when everything, when the market was in sell off. So he started to buy the shares at a low price. And when the market went back up again in green, he sold. And once again, yeah, he sold for a profit. And once again, he became a millionaire. And this is what this book is about. It's a great book. It's a great story. The book all about dividend investing. What is dividend investing? Well, first, let me tell you what dividend investing can do. Dividend investing over time and over the years will make a person wealthy. Yes, this, this is what dividend investing will cause for the person to become wealthy. Now let me give you an example. Let's say I own 20 shares of Apple stock. The company is paying $1 of dividends every three months. Yes, for every share that I own, the company will pay me $1 per share that I own. So, I will get paid $20. This money the corporation will send to my broker's account to be deposited. And this money I can use as I want. Or I can do something else. I can let the broker know before um, the corporation of Apple deposits the money into my broker's account. I can let them know that I want my dividend um, to be reinvested back into the company so I can buy more shares. And this will uh, make my shares grow and if I continue to repeat this over and over every three months every year my shares will grow my dividend payout will grow and this is what dividend investing will do. This is what this book, Dividend Investing, it's about. Now, not all the companies pay dividends. Some do, some don't. Some companies pay every month, other companies pay every three months, others don't pay at all. So, I always invest in dividend stocks. Because the company 
It's always paying dividends and I don't have to sell my shares and that's the good thing. That I don't have to sell my shares at all because they're paying me a dividend. And it's providing me with um with cash flow. This uh stock it's um putting money my pocket it's an asset it's not just that i own a stock i own a piece of the corporation of apple the more shares i own the bigger percentage of the company i will own the more shares I own, the bigger the amount of cash in dividends they'll pay me. So, now imagine to own thousands, even millions of shares. Can you imagine the amount of cash? That there are millions of shareholders in the world that have millions of shares in Apple stock. Just imagine the amount of cash those investors are making from dividend paying stocks like Apple. This is what dividend investing book it's about. It's a great financial book. Gives great financial knowledge in dividend investing. Oil and petroleum. I always like petroleum and investing in petroleum. The whole world uses petroleum. And I own the book because I like to know everything about petroleum. In fact, let me show you something in the book regarding um, the petroleum oil reserves by country and that's going to be on page 70 it says proven oil reserves billions of barrels as you can see starting from the top the first country Saudi Arabia and the very bottom country it's India you see all them countries their reserves now I'm going to show you the oil consumption by country and that's going to be on page 108 okay oil consumption by country as you can see the very top one is USA and the very bottom one is Egypt As you can see how the countries consume oil, how we consume oil. And, uh, and these are my best financial investment books. If you saw value, 
and like video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.